Hi everyone, my name is Carlos and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Datagram. Today I'm going to show you how to create a chart. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your specific workspace. Once I'm in there, I'll have to choose a specific project. And once I am in a project, I can go to my menu and then I can choose charts. Once I am in charts, I can create a new chart or just select any of the charts that I've already created. In this case, I'm going to create a new chart. Once I do that, you'll have to wait that the right panel loads. This is the right canvas where you're going to be able to choose your data source. So in this case, these are all the sources that I already integrated into my workspace and my projects. So for example, in this case, I'm just going to choose my Google Sheets net revenue source. And then what I have, what I see here is the table that contains the data in my source. So if I just want to visualize this, for example, I can just do this simple step. I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate that table that I had uh, preloaded there and just drag and drop into my SQL editor the table that I have in my source. Once I do that, I can just run it. One important thing is that here in my code, I had limit 20, so it's going to be limited in the amount of, of rows that I see. But of course, you can, you can just write any code you want here to be able to, um, to show more or just less data. Another cool thing that you can do with this is that you can just switch sources and tables and you just can drag and drop them. And that way you're, you're going to be able to do joints of data, uh, dub of data or whatever you need in your, in your charts. So in here, as you can see, I can, I can already see my, my, my data and I can start choosing my different charts. So these are all the options that we have in uh, currently in our charts. So for example, um, what I can do here is I can choose month in my X axis, and then I'm just going to choose revenue on my Y axis. And I'm just going to hit apply and voila, I can see my, my chart right away. I can also see it by by charts. I can see it by area charts. And depending on your data, of course, you're going to be able to see all the other options that we have. In a different video, I'm going to show you how to use um, filters. So this is for users that are maybe not so savvy um, in SQL. So that way we have an option uh, for those type of users. Hope this helps. Thank you.